Okay, so after we got the takeaway going, we got the club face looking at the ball, there comes a period of arms lifting, or this is called shoulder, sagittal plane shoulder flexion. The arms are actually doing this. They're, they're lifting away from the chest. So go ahead and just do this part. Wait, now don't do, don't do the uh, other part. So basically, if we're just lifting the arms up, then it looks like we could actually just lift it and go this way, right? But what actually turns is in this left arm, upper arm, it's the humerus, is actually going to rotate in the shoulder joint, and that's actually left shoulder IR and right shoulder ER. So we got this thing going on where, where we're rotating the arm. Let's try that again so people can see it. There, lift and rotate the arms, right? O rotate the, this is actually, again, shoulder, the upper arm is rotating within the shoulder joint. And that actually sets the plane. It's keeping the hands in front of his shoulder here, as opposed to we don't want to go back inside flat, right? Where we get the club behind the body and start pulling on, pulling on lawnmowers or something, right? We don't want to be there. We want to have the arms lift up. And then we want to rotate the humerus on both sides so once we get there the top of the backswing is relatively optional because basically again we, we got matthew fitzpatrick who's got a nice laid off appearance you can go a little higher and, and do more of that and then we got also some like nancy lopez who gets up and cross the line quite a bit it's it's really optional again typically what we want to see is at the top of the backswing the arms stop going so much up and they actually start going at a lower rate to get to a slightly flat, flatter position, 